protecting those you care about. Are you concerned about a family member or friend? Do you think they may be experimenting with drugs or using regularly? It's never too early to start talking with those you care for about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. By the time they are seniors, about 70% of high school students will have tried alcohol, half will have taken an illegal drug, and more than 20% will have used a prescription drug for a non-medical purpose. It's unrealistic to think all teens or young adults will avoid alcohol or drugs, so giving those you love information about how to stay safe can protect them if they do experiment. Start by sharing this information. The illegal drug supply contains fentanyl. Tasteless, odorless, and invisible, fentanyl can be laced into counterfeit pills that look like prescription medications, including brand name pills like Xanax, Oxycontin, and Adderall. It's also mixed into heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine. It can be bought and ingested unintentionally. Don't use alone. If a person takes drugs alone, or two people take a laced substance together and something goes wrong, there's no one to call 911. To avoid this, encourage the person to never use alone and to take turns when they use so someone is ready to call 911 if necessary. If they do use alone, encourage the person to call a hotline like Never Use Alone, where an operator will listen and talk with them while they use. If they stop responding, the operator will notify emergency services of an unresponsive person and provide their location. Don't mix drugs and alcohol. Mixing alcohol and drugs is always dangerous, and the potential for fentanyl and counterfeit pills intensifies this risk. In addition, some drug ingredients can have bad reactions with alcohol. Keep naloxone handy. If someone unintentionally ingests a drug laced with fentanyl, administering naloxone can restart breathing in two to three minutes, saving a life. Naloxone only works on opioids, and you can't get high from it. So it's safe to use even if you're not sure if the person has taken an opioid or is having an overdose. You can normalize naloxone by making it available in your home and providing it to those you care about. Make sure they know how to administer it and encourage them to carry it with them the same way they carry their cell phone. Provide fentanyl test strips. Provide fentanyl test strips to detect the presence of fentanyl in any drugs before use and encourage those you care about to always use the test strips. These strips are easy to use by mixing a drop of water with a sample of the drug and should be used every time to ensure the drug hasn't been laced with fentanyl. It's okay to call for help. To encourage people to seek medical attention for an overdose, states and D.C. have enacted Good Samaritan or 911 drug immunity laws. These laws offer protection to someone who attempts to help a person in distress. Let the young person you love know that it's safe to call for help, even if they have been using or possess drugs or alcohol. If they're in a situation where someone has stopped responding after using drugs, they should call 911, administer naloxone if they have it, and stay with the person until help arrives. Teaching your loved one how to protect themselves and their friends may save a life. Use the information you learned here to get started. Remind them they can always come to you for help. If you need more resources, talk to a healthcare professional.